Welcome back. So I recently took a biological age test, which was quite interesting. And in today's video, I am going to share with you how old I really am. Also at the end of this video, we will have an amazing giveaway. So make sure to stay till the end. Aging oftentimes gets a bad rep, but if we are lucky, all of us will get to experience aging. But of course, we want to age well to have a great quality of life for as long as possible. And there can be a big difference between our chronological age and our biological age. Our chronological age is the age listed in our passport versus our biological age is the age of our cells. So it tells us our real age depending on how the aging process has affected us. Now, of course, several genetic factors are implicated in aging, but we are not really slaves to our genes as we once believed. We now know that epigenetics can affect how our genes will be expressed. Epi comes from the Greek word above. So epigenetics describes factors beyond the genetic code. Epigenetic changes are modifications to DNA that regulate whether a gene is going to be turned on or off. So while the genetics we were given, of course, play a role in our aging process, we now know that certain factors such as the diet we eat, the environment we live in, whether we smoke or drink, and a bunch of other things can actually affect how our genes are going to be expressed. And with that, how well we are going to age. So our biological age tells us how well we are aging versus our chronological age just tells us how many years we have spent on this planet. Now, there are many different biological age tests available at this point, including some online calculators, such as this one right here, which merely asked me some lifestyle questions and with my answers came to the conclusion that my biological age is 41, which of course is nice to hear since my chronological age is 53. However, a test such as this one, of course, is not a DNA test. It tells me nothing about my epigenetics. And since I wanted to know my real biological age, I took another test. I took this test right here from Do Not Age, which was super easy to do. First, I downloaded the app, which I will share with you in a second because it is quite interesting. Then I collected a bit of saliva first thing in the morning and send it off. Now, since this is a quite complex test, it took a little while to get the results. My DNA results took about four weeks. My epigenetic results took another four. Now, as I said, this is a quite complex test and I learned a lot of things about myself, aside from how old I really am. And I have to admit, when I first got the results, I was a bit disappointed because while my chronological age is 53, I feel as if I'm 30. So when I first got my biological age results, I was a bit disappointed, but then I had to remind myself of all the damage I have done to this poor body. First of all, my mother smoked and drank when she was pregnant with me, and I grew up in a household where the adults smoked two packages of cigarettes each a day. And of course we know smoking is not healthy. It causes DNA damage, but we now know that secondhand smoke and even thirdhand smoke causes DNA damage. And DNA damage, amongst many other things, accelerates the aging process. Then, as many of you know, I was anorexic for almost two decades. Now, while fasting and even occasional caloric restriction can be beneficial and has even been shown to extend lifespan, at least in mice, chronic starvation and with it chronic nutrient deficiency causes DNA damage. Now, one of course does not have to be anorexic 
as I was for two decades, to have nutrient deficiencies, which can cause DNA damage. Eating a diet full of junk and void of nutrients can cause DNA damage and therefore accelerate the aging process, which is why it is so important if we want to age well that we eat a nutrient-dense diet, which I do now but didn't for a long time. On top of being nutrient deficient for so long, I also accumulated a ton of oxidative stress because I used to be an over-exerciser. It was part of my disease. I used to work out for four, five, six, seven hours a day. And while exercise, of course, is important and healthy, over-exercising causes oxidative stress and with that DNA damage. And then on top of that, I also accumulated a ton of DNA damage from too much ultraviolet radiation because I used to bake myself in the sun, which of course we know is not good. And then lastly, I also had a ton of x-rays as well as CAT scans, which also cause DNA damage. So while at first I was a bit disappointed when I got my results, looking back and reminding myself of all the damage I've done to this poor body, I have to say I'm actually happy with the results. And the reason I'm telling you all of this is that I know many of us think I have done all these unhealthy things. Maybe I'm still not really healthy, but it is never too late to make some positive changes. And if you feel that you have some unhealthy habits, it is never too late to make some positive changes and with that affect how well you're going to age. So let's take a look at my results. As I mentioned, the test comes with an app which on top of telling you your DNA results, as well as your epigenetic results, also tells you your current virus risk score in your area. And as you can see, it is not great where we are. And it also gives you your current air quality index. So let's first of all, take a look at my DNA results. So here under DNA results, you can see a list of nutrients and the app tells me, according to my genes, whether I would benefit from supplementing with some of these nutrients. So for example, I would not benefit from arginine. I have a higher caffeine sensitivity, which I could have told you without taking this test. I have an abnormal lactase persistence, an increased risk of vitamin B6 deficiency, as well as vitamin B12 deficiency. And sadly, I have an increased risk of type 2 diabetes. So let's click on this. So I can actually click on all of these, but let's click on this right here. And it will tell me I have all of these genes, which put me at a higher risk of developing type 2 diabetes. And then it talks a bit about the risks as well as it gives me some recommendations right here. So these are my DNA results. Now, when I go back to the homepage, I can go to health insights. Let's take a look. So you can see you have all these different fields right here. Let's press on anti-aging. So it tells me right here that I have a slightly faster decline, physical decline with aging. Not something I want to hear. My cognitive decline is normal. My bone strength decline is slightly lower as well as stress can affect my aging process. So that was anti-aging. Let's go on skin health. So it tells me right here, I have a normal risk of sun damage. My rate of skin aging is normal. I have a slightly lowered conversion from beta carotene into vitamin A, which is good to know. And let's see, my collagen breakdown is normal. My skin glycation with age is slower. I like to hear that. And my risk of wrinkles is normal. So as I said, you have all these different fields right here under health insights, but in the interest of time and to not bore you, let's go to my epigenetic results. So my epigenetic results tell me that my biological age is 48.10. So exactly five years younger than my chronological age, which currently is 53.10. 
So my biological age status is healthy. My eye health, I like seeing this. My biological eye age is 46.10. So seven years younger than my chronological age. However, my hearing age is unhealthy. It is 58.20. So more than five years older than my chronological age. So let's press on this and see what it says. So it tells me right here that it came to the conclusion that my hearing age is 58.2 by taking the average methylation status of the genes associated with affecting hearing. And if I press on recommendations, it is telling me that I would benefit from folate as well as astaxanthine. So this is something I am not too happy about but at least now I know and I can hopefully take some measures to correct this. My memory age is healthy. It is just a little less than a year younger than my chronological age. And my inflammation score is normal, which is a good thing because of course we know that inflammation causes aging. So these are my epigenetic results. And again, I can click on any of these and it will give me a bit more insight right here. Now let's see what they recommend to get my biological age even younger. So they are recommending vitamin D, calorie restriction, meditation, increasing antioxidants, as well as physical activity. And then if we go back to the home screen, you can see you have some other fields you can click on. I have not set any of these up, but you could get a meal guide for either weight loss, fitness and endurance, to build muscle for health and well-being. You can set up a training program right here. As I said, I haven't set any of this up, but I do think it is cool that the app actually comes with all of these things. And then lastly, it says right here, lifestyle tracking coming soon. So <laughs> there you have it. My biological age is 48. My chronological age is 53. Now, again, when I first saw the results, I was a bit disappointed because I do feel as if I'm 30, but then reminding myself of all the damage I've done to this poor body, I was actually really happy to see how much of that damage I was able to reverse. Because would I have taken this test 10 years ago, I am sure it would have told me I'm at least five years, if not 10 years older. So hopefully if you feel that you have some unhealthy habits, this will give you some hope to know that it is never too late to make some positive changes and with these positive changes affect how well you're going to age. Now, my plan is to take this test again next year, just out of curiosity. In the meantime, I will do everything I have been doing in the last few years. So I will continue to eat a nutrient dense diet, exercise a healthy amount, I will also continue to take the longevity supplements I started taking last year. So last year I started taking NMN, nicotinamide mononucleotide, and I have made many videos on NMN. I will link them all down below. With the NMN, I take TMG, trimethylglycine. I also started taking Fisetin or Fisetin last year, and Fisetin is a synolytic compound. I made a video on Fisetin. I will also link that down below. So I will continue taking all these longevity supplements. And of course, there are other things we can do to affect our biological aging process, such as cold exposure, fasting. Now, I cannot get myself to take a cold shower. I just love my hot showers. And because of my history, fasting is out. But I will continue doing all these other things manage my stress and then I will retake the test next year and hopefully I can cut a few more years of my biological age and of course in the meantime there might be some new longevity supplements which I may or may not take. I may also consider taking some of the supplements recommended in the age test. Now talking about supplements I told you at the beginning that we are going to have an amazing giveaway. Do Not Age was kind enough to give away a longevity package. And this package includes one year supply 
of NMN, TMG, both of those I told you I take, resveratrol, which is a polyphenol, quercetin, a flavonoid, which I also take, and it makes a huge difference at night. It keeps my nose clear and I can breathe at night. Spermidine, a fairly new supplement, which has actually been shown to delay aging in humans. High molecular weight, hyaluronic acid, which I actually also take and made a video on. I will link it down below. And then lastly, another fairly new supplement, Sir 6 Activator. I talked to Alan, the CEO of Do Not Age, at the end of last year. Alan is a super nice guy. And I said, Alan, I would love to give something to my community at the beginning of the year, something health related. And Alan said, no problem, let's put together this package. So this is incredibly generous of Alan and of Do Not Age. Now to enter the giveaway, first of all, please be subscribed. And secondly, in the comments down below, leave a question either for myself or Alan, anything about health, biological age, supplements, anything else you want to ask, leave the question down below, please. And with the question, I will enter you in the giveaway. Now, if we get enough questions for Alan, I will have him on my channel and we can pick his brain about the newest, greatest longevity supplements. So again, to enter, please be subscribed. And secondly, leave a question down below, either for myself or Alan, anything health, biological age, supplement related, or anything else you want to ask. Now I have to give you a little warning. Lately with these giveaways on YouTube, there have been some scammers and it really makes me mad because I love doing these giveaways, but the scam seems to be the same thing every time. Somebody will reach out to viewers via WhatsApp and uh, they will say, you won, but you have to send me some money so I can send you your prize. Please know that I will never contact you via WhatsApp or any other social media. If you win, I will let you know in the comments and then I will ask you to please contact me via email. Mm -hmm. So please, if you get a WhatsApp or if somebody contacts you through any other social media app and pretends that you won and do not send them any money, please know I would never contact you and ask you for money to send you the prize. So I am super excited for whoever is going to win and I can't wait to read your questions. Thank you so much for being here. I hope this was interesting, helpful. Let me know down below if you have any other questions or comments and I will see you next time. Thank you for being here. Bye.